Hey there, you legends. Today is the big day. It's Friday the 13th, and what better day to start this ridiculous adventure of driving from Amsterdam all the way to Mongolia with my girlfriend. Uh, however, we have decided relatively last minute that's probably best that I stop calling her my girlfriend. So we're gonna do a quick wedding and then we're gonna head off. So Denmark, what can I tell you guys about Denmark? It is a Nordic country and from all the Nordic countries, it's actually the most Southern Nordic country. They have the oldest flag in the world. And of course, historically, we know them for their Vikings, these brave, courageous warriors, adventurers. Then for hundreds of years after the Vikings, we forgot about Denmark. No idea what happened in Denmark after that, to be honest, until they invented Lego, which was good. They invented Lego, awesome. Uh, they're also often mentioned as the happiest people in the world. Uh, however, if you've ever seen any Danish movie, you know that's bullshit. Just watch the movie Submarino, for instance, and tell me after that with a straight face that, oh, the Danish are so happy. They're also very similar to the Netherlands, in the sense that weather is just as shitty. It's also very flat, just like the Netherlands. The highest point in Denmark is actually lower than the highest point in the Netherlands, which is quite an achievement. Um, we also both produce a lot of grass. However, the Netherlands produce marijuana grass and the Danish just produce grass. Okay, um, we're also both very cycling focused and Copenhagen is actually mentioned as the most cycling friendly city in the world. However, it is mentioned as the most cycling friendly city in the world by something called the Copenhagen Index, uh, which I'm saying now I'm calling bullshit. Amsterdam is a more cycling friendly city uh, by far. Well, not by far, but it's a more cycling friendly city. And I'll place a link in the description explaining why it's a more cycling friendly city. Hey legends, it's day three and we made it all the way to Denmark to Viborg. We had an amazing wedding, was also a great opportunity to say goodbye to some friends. Uh, and also it's about time that I do the official introduction to which is now my wife, Linda. Hello. Um, Viborg is a very small city in Denmark and we sold almost no tickets. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, they warned me that Viborg on a Sunday, are you insane? And I said, no, we'll sell tickets. Uh, but then we didn't. So this is gonna be interesting. I hope some people show up at the door. <laughs> and I told myself I'm gonna be honest in this whole vlog thing. If things go shitty, <laughs> just I'm not gonna pretend that they went well. Um, meanwhile, I'm also navigating a city I don't know. Full confidence, because you know, I'm a straight white man. <laughs> I do this, I just say, well, let's go left here. Pretend to know what I'm doing. Um, so far it's been a bit of a boring drive because we just went to Germany where we did have a nice stay in a little cowboy cottage. And other than that, it's been straightforward. It's well paved road and boring. Not too exciting yet, but let's see what Viborg has to offer. It looks like one of the reasons we might not have sold tickets is because this place is abandoned. Looks like we found the busy part. I see a whole five people at the same time. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Fader Iklar. You're doing very well already for like five people. This is amazing. Awesome, yeah, that, as everybody knows by now, this is uh, my smallest show ever, uh, which is not a per se a bad thing, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be uh, cozy. 
I think this got, there's a Danish word for this. Hygge? How do you? Yeah, Hygge. Hygge. Yeah. It's, I, I, I googled it. The, according to Wikipedia, they, they, they write behind it how you need to pronounce it. And they, it sounded like more of a, something like a, a sumo wrestler set because it's like, yo! It's like how you start the fight. Yo! My association with Denmark is still Vikings. Fearless, tough people. And I've been here for a few hours. I've never seen that many people on bicycles wearing a helmet. This is what happened there. It's, it's uh, don't you believe in cycle paths in Valhalla? What uh, what's going on? So that show was both a high and a low. Uh, it was definitely a low in ticket sales because we had five paying audience members in, which is the low, lowest I've ever had uh, at my solo show by far. Uh, so economically it was an absolute disaster, uh, but it was a really, really fun show. Uh, I took my time to, to engage all five of them, have chats with them beforehand to make it kind of a living room vibe and that worked out great. All five of them were laughing out loud and to be honest you can have shows in the Netherlands with a with hundred Dutch people making zero noise. Uh, so it wasn't that bad at all. I mean economically it was but you know it was, it was a fun experience still um, and it's a great craft beer bar where the show was at and I love craft beer uh, so it wasn't too bad. And now we're near Copenhagen, getting ready for the next show. And in Denmark, you're always close to the sea. All right, we're exploring Copenhagen before the show. And so far my conclusion is that it's too nice. It's too nice, you know, when you enter like, Disneyland and all, everything looks amazing, but you know it's all fake. That's kind of the feeling I have here. It's just, it doesn't feel lift. I like things with a little bit of a rough edge and there's no rough edge. Even like the hipster alternative places are just fancy and fucking expensive. It's weird. Also, I'm freaked out by the fact that the bicycles only have one lock and they're not stolen. Here, I mean, this is a nice bike. It has one shitty lock. As a Dutch person, I would steal it. Not because I want a bike, just because you want to learn them a lesson. You cannot do this, you need more locks. Again, one nice bike, one shitty lock. It, this one's even more extreme. It has a helmet on it. You could just take the helmet. But as a Dutch person, I would never use a helmet, so that's fine, actually, you can leave the helmet. But still, it's one shitty lock. I would steal this, just, you know, to teach them that you cannot do this. This is weird. Copenhagen show was really fun. Um, we had a lot of fun, especially at the beginning of the show with the interactions with the crowd. <laughs> it was surprisingly fun to have both somebody of Ukrainian and Russian descent in the audience, uh, which created a surprisingly friendly vibe. So apparently they do get along if needed. <laughs> um, however, unfortunately, <laughs> Uh, instead of pressing record at the beginning of the show, I pressed record at the end of the show as an old boomer that doesn't know how a camera works. Uh, so I can't show you. Uh, but it was nice and fun. It was still a small audience though. It wasn't as bad as Viborg, but still it's not uh, what we're aiming for. Um, it's a bit to the level that it's problematic financially because we were hoping to make some money in this part of the route. And right now we are not <laughs> making money, especially not since I've got a parking fine as well yesterday in Copenhagen because they've got a weird, complicated parking system. Um, but yeah, shit happens. Let's hope ticket sales are better in Sweden. Uh, by the way, when I told the audience yesterday, which was your full international audience, not a Danish person in there, uh, that I was going to Sweden next, they all went, ooh. So I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what I need to prepare for in Sweden. Uh, this is, by the way, like a little suburb town of Copenhagen, where we're staying because it's cheaper, because with these ticket sales, we need to stay as cheap as possible. Um, 
So yeah, Sweden's gonna be interesting. We're also gonna have more time in Sweden. Our visit to Denmark was super short. Uh, we were only here for three days, two, three days, two days actually. Um, so we didn't get to explore as much as we wanted to. Uh, Sweden, we're gonna explore more. We're gonna explore nature and show you that. So hopefully Sweden will get a bit more interesting and gradually from there, I'm sure it will get more interesting. Uh, of course, not as interesting as Mongolia or Central Asia yet, but you know, we're getting there. And let's see what happens in Sweden. Uh, you know, of course, press that like button, press that like button, because as you know, for every like, a hamster gets its wings. And subscribe to follow the next one if you're not subscribed yet. Uh, that's about it, man. <laughs> Denmark, it's boring. Uh, it's nice, it's nice, but it's boring. And uh, people don't go to comedy shows, apparently. So, yeah. Fuck, I hope Sweden is better. <laughs>